Well, it's been a while since I've done a pickup video and these are my birthday pickups, hence the bag with happy birthday all over it. Do not bother with the happy birthday and all that bollocks in the comments because I can't be asked to upload this video. So it will probably be like a month since my birthday by the time this gets uploaded. Hashtag fuck YouTube. Uh, yeah, let's get on with it. These are my birthday <coughs> pickups. Clear my throat. Get the black table of death here. Let's try and go through these quickly. Tekken 6 for the PS3. I used to own this game on the Xbox 360 and it's one of two games that I actually have 100% achievements for on the uh, kind of Xbox platform, I guess you'd call it. Um... Yeah, I've been picking a lot of Tekken games up, so uh, that's one that I need to complete, kind of having all of the Tekken games, because Tekken's boss, so yeah, uh, Sum of All Fears, this was part of a PS2 bundle that I got cheap off eBay, I don't know anything about it, it looks shit, probably a movie tie-in, game that shouldn't be shit, Persona 5, got this brand new and stuff all sealed, um, that was like... 24 quid from Argos. I actually ordered that when I ordered my VR, but I was given the money for that, so all of that stuff. Fallout 4 for the Xbox One, one of my kind of favourite games on the PS4. Uh, just bought it for the Xbox One. It was like a fiver or something, and I can have a double with that, just play through bits again. Wolfenstein 2, don't really care for the Wolfenstein um, kind of reboot games. I didn't particularly like the first two. Uh, old Blood, New Order, whatever, the New Order, Old Blood, whatever. Yeah, got that anyway. Meh. <clears throat> a game that I've kind of purchased before for the Saturn. True Pinball, but the Saturn didn't have it. Um, game I, I already own it for the PS1, but it's one that I need, so that's just the reason why I picked that up. Lake Masters EX had a little bit of money left over in my birthday budget, so I bought a fucking fishing game because that was all I could get with how much I had left. Resident Evil Dead Aim, so one of the old uh, light gun, light, <coughs> light gun game, light gun games. Unfortunately, it looks like it uses the G-Con 2, so unless it's G-Con 1, G-Con 45 compatible, should I say, um, which is the first light gun, I won't be able to play that one. Well, I will with a controller, but that'd be shit. Uh, yeah, that was part of the bundle that I got cheap. Who cares, Athens 2004 Olympics, whatever's. Time Splitters, um, I've never played the first one. I had the second one. It was one of the first games I got with my original Xbox back in the day. And 2 was an awesome game. Not, I wasn't very impressed by the third one, but I'll be interested to uh, play the second one. In the second one, the first one, should I say. Uh, Injustice 2. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first Injustice game, but then Mortal Kombat X came out. That was better than the original Injustice game. And if this is better than Mortal Kombat X or equal to Mortal Kombat X, I guess, then I will probably enjoy it, but maybe not because I'm not bothered about comics and stuff. Horizon Zero Dawn, don't really know too much about this other than it got good reviews. I think it's some sort of RPG. So, uh, yeah, I've been kind of off the ball with the uh, PS4 new releases, I guess. FIFA Street 2, because I'm trying to get all of the FIFA Street games. I think I actually own them all now. Um, I do like FIFA Street. I don't know why, it's kind of a guilty pleasure. Uh, Tony Hawk's Proving Ground. Um, I can't really remember much about this one. Um, I think I have had it on the PC, possibly. Um... Yeah, I need to get more Tony Hawk games, basically why I bought that. Some of these games are like, right, I need to get more Tony Hawk's games. What will remind me to get more to Tony Hawk's games? Buying Tony Hawk's games. So I'll buy this and hopefully it'll remind me to get like the other 10 or whatever, the, how many there is. Uh, Tony Hawk's games. So, sequel to one of my favourite racing games, Forza Horizon 2. We have Forza Horizon 3 here for the X-Bone first game in the series is also pretty good. Uh, Black for the PlayStation 2. Um, interesting looking first person shooter that I've never played. 
remember that being kind of hype when it was first out. Um, another one that was in the bundle of cheap PS2 games. Um, I don't know if you can even play this one single player. Um, I guess you probably can. Uh, game that I used to have on the GameCube, uh, kind of a hidden gem, I guess. Um, underrated game. Aggressive Inline, that was a cool game that I used to play on the GameCube. 50 cent bulletproof because it's cheap and probably instant gratification with a bit of fiddy. 50, oh shit game, oh. And I need to get the other one as well, Blow on Sands, but I think that's quite expensive in comparison. Yet another game from the cheap PS2 bundle. I can't remember how many games specifically were in that bundle, but it's some shit fucking plane war thing game. Uh, Conflict Desert Storm 2. Um, I had these games. I had the first one. I don't know about the second one, actually. I think I had the second one uh, back when I originally had an Xbox. Um, they're okay. They're, they're, they're kind of, they'll be dated now. Um, the last game I played in the series was a first person shooter and it was, it was, it was kind of like a solid game but there's something a little bit off with it. Kind of like smell that fart I just did. Uh, another Ghost Recon game, Jungle Storm, don't, another Ghost Recon, was that? No, that was a fucking SOCOM. Yes, this is a different game, Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. Um, not a big fan of the Ghost Recon games to be honest, they're kind of a bit slow paced. Motor Storms, so this is a game I, when I had a PS3 originally I got it when it first came out and it was 450 quid. Um, and this was one of the games I had. Um, it's a solid game but it just misses that, it misses the mark slightly um, as well. The catch-up logic is annoying in it, I guess. Um, the the later games are better, um, especially, I think it's the third one. Apocalypse, that's a pretty decent game. Uh, Burnout 2, Point of Impact. I used to have this on my PS2 back in the day. Seems to say that a lot because we're getting retro gaming stuff. Um, so yeah, I'll pick that one up. Uh, and another PS4 game, The Evil Within 2. The Evil Within, the original game, kind of starts off slow and it's annoying and a bit um, frustrating. And then you kind of level up and the game gets really weird and really cool. So uh, I thought I'd pick up the second one because it's actually supposed to be even better than the first one. Uh, Ninja... Ninja Assault, um, this was actually a Namco arcade uh, shooting game and this one is GCOM 45 compatible so I can play this one with a light gun. Um, from the videos I've seen very much like House of the Dead and the reason for that will be that this runs on um, Naomi the uh, Dreamcast arcade board, the arcade board the Dreamcast was based on. So hence, uh, it's it's the same with um, what's that other one, uh, the va Vampire Knight, um, very kind of similar to House of the Dead due to kind of Sega ties. Project Rob, uh, I don't know anything about this, some sort of um, saucy fucking uh, puzzle game I think, um, but it's Sega and... Uh, it was cheap and I had a little bit of money left, so I bought it because I wanted a motherfucking DS game. And something we can't really see here, but it is uh, Virtua Fighter. Should we uh, actually go to the effort of opening this one up? It's Virtua Fighter Remix. Um, this was the version of Virtua Fighter that they released to kind of make up for the shitty um, original port. And it's one of the Saturn games that I need, so uh, I picked that up. So uh, that's the em bag empty now. How many games did I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I got 28 games for my birthday. A lot of PS2, but some uh, decent current gen. 
stuff to play there. High five. And don't say fucking happy birthday in the comments because when you're saying that, it won't be my birthday. So, uh, hashtag fuck happy birthday. Hashtag fuck YouTube. I don't even know why I'm saying hashtag because I don't even fucking use Twitter. Hashtag fuck Twitter. Eat my shit. I'm out of here. So, as you can tell, well, as you can probably tell, you might not able to be able that fucking might not be able to tell. I'm sticking with the theme of not uploading my videos for weeks and then just banging them all together because hashtag fuck YouTube. Um, yeah, a little update. I put some shelving up in this um, corner of the game room here. You can see we've got the Tekken 7, 7, yep, 7 statue thing. Uh, we've got the Engage shit over here. Very nice. And some... Uh, Cheap devices, whatever, PS1, link cable, electronics, boutique, who remembers them. And some empty boxes on the top because these shelves don't really hold too much weight because it's plasterboard and yeah, I'm not using the correct wall plug. So uh, yeah, if I put anything other than empty boxes on this top one, it will end in disaster. So anyway, I have some pickups as well. First of all, I picked up Rebel Assault 2 for the PlayStation because I was just like um, seeing how much this game was on eBay and it was like 8 quid and I was like, I would have thought it'd be more than that. So uh, I picked it up, kind of good though that years ago I uh, had a Mega CD uh, version of the first game, Rebel Assault, and I sold it, so that sucks, it's like 30 quid now. Um. It's a game I used to have uh, when I had my PS3 first time around, Mortal Kombat vs DC Universe. Um, I like Mortal Kombat. I don't like the Injustice games. They're they're extremely wooden to me and just garbage. So uh, I do like this game. Um, this plays completely different to Injustice. It plays more like uh, Mortal Kombat 9. And it, it does have gimmicks in it. It has... Um, the shit where you're flying through the air and trying to it's kind of rock paper scissors and other things but uh it's fucking far better than them stupid uh whatever the equivalent of x-ray moves is in uh injustice i fucking hate that shit um like injustice 2 the only character i liked was blue beetle and the rest were just fucking garbage so yeah um pick this one up very good game. Uh, the difficulty level is kind of hard though, even on the uh, easiest setting. Right, so these games I was given. Um, and this is the first Leisure Suit Larry game I've ever owned. Never played any of them. Um, they're kind of, I know they're kind of low rent, um, what do you call it? Toilet, toilet puma. Um, yeah, I picked that shit out of the gutter. Um, so yeah, I don't currently... Well, I do have an Xbox. It's over there, but it doesn't work. I don't know whether that's 360 compatible, but I very much doubt it. Um, again, with the theme of PS3 games I used to own, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I've actually completed this game. It's a very, very, very hard game. One of the, the hardest kind of 3D games. And um, I actually completed it on the thing where you continue most so many times and it gives you an easier mode, which is still fucking hard as shit. But I have completed this game and uh, I might put it on one day for like 10 minutes. I also have the original on the Xbox, I believe. But I can't be asked to go down there and check, to be honest. Um... And finally, The Thing, which I believe I have. I can check. Well, I can't check because there's a Grand Theft Auto thing in the way. Uh, I've got it for PS2, I believe. So I didn't own it for the Xbox. So it's one to add to the Xbox collection. Um, this is a sequel to the movie, if I remember correctly. Carries on after the movie. Um, doesn't have Kurt Russell in there because... You know, so there we go. Five um, pickups there. 
I should also mention that I picked up uh, a game called Knockout League. Although I feel like I've mentioned this in a previous video, but I did pick it up for the PS4 digitally, the PSVR. And it fucking ruined me. I played that game about a week, week and a half ago. And my fucking hamstrings were just on fire. It was fucking torture. It's basically like punch out but in VR. But when you have to do the whole fucking head movements and shit. Oh, it, it fucking destroys you. And uh, like I smack fuck out of... Um, punch bag you know three to four to five times a week and when you play these games where they don't have that you know that thing to stop your arm kind of super extending let's say um that kind of final little bit of extension like ruins your joints and shit and basically that's what boxing in vr does whereas if you hit a punch bag you know you well, I'm actually like nearly epic fail, like punching the fucking fridge off there. But uh, yeah, you, you kind of get that kind of slightly bent elbow position. I'm giving you fucking fitness lessons here. I'm giving you life. This shit will serve you in life. Uh, but yeah, you, you punch and it's slightly bent there. Whereas if you kind of do it in VR, you'll get that extra bit and it fucks your joints up. So yeah, there we go. Five fucking pickups. And some fucking shelving. More shelving, it will be getting put up in this room. Um, I do need to do something about sorting... Uh, something about sorting the paint out and shit. Um, you see here, uh, these are actually cut. The reason these are cut is because the door's here. And if you imagine, the door would have only opened that far with the full length shelf so I cut them down so I can open the door pretty much as far as it could do before because as the radiator was in the way anyway so yes there you go boring fucking bollocks and this will be tacked on to the end of my perf birth birthday birthday uh, yeah it's uh, Australian um, where you celebrate perf no um, it's uh, gonna be tacked on to the end of my birthday pickups hashtag Suck my sausage off, you sexy cunts.